everyone and welcome to another episode of Living La Vida Lidcraft where we focus on food, fashion, fitness and fun. The holidays are upon us again and that means football season, Thanksgiving dinners and Christmas parties. And the common denominator for all is food. So today I'm going to show you some appetizer options that can stand alone or form part of a greater menu. These are quick and easy to make and of course healthy and guilt free. So if you want to see how we make these, keep watching. right now but it's a great snack and it's easy to cook and it's going to be a great part of this taco which are gluten free and they're made with only three ingredients so I love 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 these taco shells and I'm gonna make a salad kind of a sort of salad from this sauerkraut mixed with carrots so let's get into it okay so first I'm gonna chop up the onion oh hold on gloves because nobody wants to smell like onions is that weird to be using gloves while cooking? I think so. I love onion. I eat onion with everything. So if you don't like onion or maybe you're part of a crowd that's going to be a little peckish, um, maybe you can try red peppers or any other type of seasoning that you, you like. The saute. This is going to be a sauteed mushroom. Again, I love onion, so I'm putting in the whole onion, but you don't. depending on how much mushroom you're making, you don't need to. But again, I could eat onions by itself pretty much every day. I always use coconut oil. Coconut oil is life for me. I literally have it in the kitchen, in the bathroom, in the bedroom, in my purse. I have it everywhere. I do, and it, it works. But that's another show. Caramelize the onion. I'm gonna use some brown sugar. Never use white sugar. So in your kitchen, you should have maple syrup, honey, or brown sugar. Okay, so while the onions are cooking, I'm going to cut up the portobello mushroom. Okay, so now that this is cooking up really nicely, I'm gonna add in the mushrooms. So while that's sauteing, I'm going to fix up the spread for the rest of the taco, starting with the sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is a great probiotic. You'll be feeding your guests healthy foods, they won't even know it. So to the sauerkraut, I'm going to just add some shredded carrots. I love adding raisins to my sauerkraut, so I'm going to add some raisins in here. It's going to add some nice color and make it a little bit more sweeter as well. I'm going to mix that up. So now I'm going to assemble the taco. I just love easy snacks that you can make for a crowd that are obviously healthy. So for these taco shells, I'm going to add some coconut spread. I'm just going to fill these up. Make sure you let the mushroom cool before you stick them in the taco. Last thing is our delicious mushroom topping, which smells so good. I wish you could smell it just enough sweetness to counteract the tart of the sauerkraut. I think everyone in your party is going to love this. And look how easy that was to make. If I can make it, anybody can make it. Trust me. So there you have it, my mushroom taquitos. Quick and easy to make and absolutely delicious. So now we're going to make tostones with toppings or patacones, depending on the country that you're from. I love tostones, I eat them practically every day and when my mom's here, I pretty much eat it every day with fried beans. Easy to make. These are a little ripe. You don't want to get them ripe like this. Try and get them as green as possible. We're going to cut them in about an inch and a half chunks. I'm going to keep this in here for about three minutes. 
You don't want to completely cook them. So now after we cook this for about 2-3 minutes, just to get them soft enough, we're going to put this in this Ziploc bag, unless you have a tostones maker, which I don't have one, and then we're going to squash them. Make sure you use the greenest plantain that you can, but you know what, they're going to work today. Then we're going to put them back to fry should take another minute or two. Okay, so these didn't turn out too bad, thankfully. So for the topping, I'm gonna choose a combination of black bean, guacamole, and hummus. Depending on your crowd, you'll know which one to make more of. I like all three. Let them dry, let all the oils soak off. But again, no, you, we shouldn't be eating too much fried foods, but this is coconut oil, and I'm pretty confident that having a little bit of fried petaconis every once in a while is okay. Now we're going to assemble this. So here they are, my tostones with toppings. Aren't they beautiful? So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Ciao!